Hey guys, it's April. Welcome back to my channel, House to Home. Today I'm going to be doing a shopping collective haul from all different stores uh, of fall merchandise and Halloween. But before we get into the video, I'm showing you here um, just little clips of um, this cute little shop that I went into that had all different kinds of fall and Halloween decor. And I thought I'd just pull out the camera and go around and film a little bit just to show you some of the neat stuff that they had. So I'll let you enjoy that as I welcome you. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. I have gotten a large amount more subscribers in the last like maybe week or so. So if you are one of them, thank you so much for subscribing and welcome. Um, if you're new, write me a little comment down in the description box and introduce yourself. Um, if you are new and you haven't subscribed, I would love for you to do so. Give this video a thumbs up if you love fall and Halloween decor. And uh, we'll get right into the haul, but I'll let you enjoy the rest of these clips. I did end up picking up a couple of things from this shop, but if you stay tuned to the haul, you'll find out what I grabbed. Now I apologize in advance if I skip around from store to store, but I kind of filmed in all different orders, but I'll let you all know where I got each thing. Um, first was this little pillow that has the farm fresh pumpkins. I got that at that shop that I just showed you. And I mean, it was a turquoise truck, so I had to pick it up because I knew it would look perfectly in my kitchen. Next, I went to the Target dollar spot hunting for some goodies. And I didn't find a whole lot, but I found these pumpkins that they pretty much have out every year for a dollar, and I never seemed to find any. So this year I found a black sparkly one, two plain blacks, an orange, and a white, and I plan on using some of them now and then adding the rest to my Halloween decor. Next is this cute little mummy. I picked him up at Michael's. He's um, stuffed and he's on a metal little stick. I guess you could stick him in a planter or, I don't know, a wreath. Um, but I think what I'm going to end up doing is probably just pulling the stick out and sitting him within my Halloween decor. Next is this little ghost. I got him at the shop that I showed in the beginning. Um, he just, he's kind of like a hard uh, texture on the outside, but he's stuffed. And then he has this cute little witch's hat. He's quite small, but I think he's gonna look very cute for Halloween. Also, um, I, at the same shop, I picked up this little mouse that's dressed as a witch. And I just thought he was the cutest little thing. Um, he's holding that little pumpkin and his tail and oh, I just thought he was so cute. Next, going back to the Target dollar spot, um, I saw these cute little signs. One says broom parking, the other one says haunted house. And I thought they would be cute to either put on my porch or make a sign with them. And I got this little wooden spider who has like a distressed wood and I uh, just thought he was really cute. Next, I went to Ross and I picked up uh, this set of three hanging bats and they're a really hard metal, um, almost like a wrought iron in a way, and they're very heavy. And I believe they were $10 and I thought they were really neat and I could hang them on one of the hooks on my wraparound porch with my Halloween decor. Next, on the same lines of bats, I picked these three bats up um, from the Oriental Trading Company online. 
I made a bigger purchase from them a few months ago and I got a free $10 e-gift card to use. So I got these for free. Um, they're a little cheaper made than I was hoping, but they'll still be cool to hang off uh, the hooks on my porch. Next is probably my favorite item that I picked up. I got him at uh, TJ Maxx and he is just so cute. I love the galvanized metal and the white and the little witch's hat is just so cute. And the best part is he lights up. Um, so you'll see I'm gonna turn him around here and turn him on. And the light shines not only out of his face, but also out of his hat too. And I just thought that was so neat. And I think he was $20. There was a little nick in his face and I asked him if they would uh, give me a little discount. Next is a sign that I picked up from Ross. It says the witch is in, and I just love the distressed wood on it and the frame, and there's a little bit of glitter um, in the wording and in the witch's hat, and I just thought this was super cute and a really nice size, and it was only $4.99. Next is this uh, witch parking only sign. It is uh, metal and I picked this up at Michael's a few weeks back. I don't remember how much I paid for it, probably like $10 or something like that. But I thought this would be really cute to either hang in my house or on my front porch and then maybe put some brooms by it. Next, I went to a fall um, open house at a shop here in my town, and I bought this cute uh, pumpkin garland that the pumpkins are all like a metal and they're rusted, and then they have like this twisty wire ribbon, and I thought this would be cute to either stick um, on my fireplace mantle or even across one of my like bigger pieces of furniture. Next is this home is where you hang your broom sign. This I picked up at Ross and I love the wood background, the writing. It's just so cute. I wish it had a frame more around it, but you won't believe this was only $6.99. <laughs> so I didn't care that it didn't have a frame. I figured I could always add one down the road if I wanted to. And the size is so massive, you just could not beat that price. Also from Ross is this trick or treat sign. It is kind of just like a black wood and it has the galvanized metal with the trick or treat writing on it and two jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. And this was only a $4.99 as well and it is huge. Like Ross has some really good Halloween decor this year. So if you're in need and you're on a budget, I would go there and check it out. Next, I got this pumpkin at Home Goods. Um, kind of reminds me of like a kettle or something. It has a handle on it and it even lights up. I will flip it around and turn it on for you. There is one of the flameless candles on the inside. And I just thought it had such a nice glow. I don't know if I'll put that inside or outside, but just thought it had the farmhouse look, but also a little creepy. Next, I picked up this wreath. Uh, I believe this was from the shop from the beginning of the video. Um, I just thought it was super pretty. Um, I love all the leaves and how they kind of transition from red to orange to yellow. Sorry, the lighting isn't maybe picking it up the best. I just thought this was so pretty. And as you can see, there is a cop outside my window <laughs> pulling someone over. Um, and then here I also picked up a cup, two little stems that match the wreath perfectly. And I don't know if I'm going to keep them here, but I just thought it would be a good way for me to uh, show you what they look like. Next, I picked up this wooden fence. Um, my mom actually got one of them too, and we wanted to just hang it on the wall and add some kind of, you know, just decor to it. And I figured it would be good for all the seasons. I could add something, you know, Christmas as well. But I decided to put some fall florals in this little metal bucket that I had. And I think that turned out pretty darn. Okay, and I have two more things to show you guys. First is this cute little brown tree. Um, 
I don't know if it was actually meant for Christmas or not, but I found it in the, this little shop here for that fall open house. And I just thought, oh my God, it's brown. It has a cute little burlap bus sack on the bottom. And I just thought it would be super cute if I added some of the Dollar Tree pumpkins to it and some lights and I'd have myself a fall tree. So I picked that up. And then also I found this neat piece of furniture. I guess you would call it a console table. I found this at Kirkland's and it was already on clearance. It was like originally $260 and it was on clearance for like 119 plus you got an additional 25% off. So I just had to have it and I put on some glass knobs because it came with some wooden ones that were on them and they were the same color and they just didn't stand out. But anyway, that is my haul. I'm sure I'll be having some more in the near future, especially for Halloween. Uh, we'll end with a little clip here of Baron saying hello. Um, if you like this video, uh, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, I would love if you'd stick around and subscribe. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye.